In this video, I will show you how to automate the second part of Windows installation when you are installing uh, Windows from USB drive. And this so-called automation will include installing a few software packages, adding a registry setting, skipping out of the box experience, and creating a local user account. And we will achieve it by creating a provisioning package with Windows Configuration Designer. If you're interested in uh, automating the first part of Windows installation, you should watch my previous video about adding AutoNetN file to your Windows installation USB drive. As you can see here, I have my Windows installation USB drive prepared and it also contains the AutoNetN file.xml for automating the first part of Windows installation. And also here is my GitHub page for this video. I will leave the URL in the description down below and it only contains few commands that we will use for our provisioning package. For example, uh, we have some commands to install software and to add a registry setting to skip the privacy experience menu which you get when logging in for the first time with a new user account. And also I created two folders for Windows 11 and Windows 10 which contains the AutoNetend uh, file, which you can download and use if you don't want to watch the previous video about the AutoNetend.xml files. You just need to download it and then copy to your Windows installation USB drive. Make sure it's the root directory and the name is AutoNetend.xml, just like I have it here but there is a chance that this AutoNetN.xml file will not work for you if you didn't create your USB using Windows Media Creation Tool. So I highly suggest that you watch my previous video where I explain how to adapt it to different types of USB drives that contains Windows installations from different sources. And now let's start creating our provisioning package. For that, let's go to our Windows Configuration Designer. Here we need to create a new project. For that, click on File, New Project. I will name it install underscore from USB. You can name it whatever you like. Click Next, Next. Here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions. Click Next once more and Finish. Now let's expand Runtime Settings. And first thing that we will do is to remove the out-of-the-box experience. For that, let's select Ubi, expand desktop, and select hide Ubi. And here we need to change the value for hide Ubi to true. This will remove the out-of-the-box experience entirely. So the next step that we need to do is to create a local user account. For that, let's go to accounts, users, and here we need to provide a username. I will enter admin, click add, select the user that we created, and now we need to provide a password. I will type in password 55, and I highly suggest that you have some method of changing the password afterwards because having uh, passwords in the provisioning package is not very secure. For the user group, uh, we need to select administrators uh, to make this local account an administrator. And that's it for the default commands. Next, we will add some software installations and registry settings. And for that, we need to go to provisioning commands and select primary context and select command. Here we can name our, he, here we need to name our commands. And for the first command, I will name it install uh, underscore seven zip and click add, select the command that we created. And here uh, the mandatory step is to provide a command line and if necessary, uh, command file. So uh, for the installation, uh, for software installations, command file will be necessary step. Let's go back to my GitHub page. 
and here I have the download link for the 7-zip and the installation command. I will copy my installation command. Also, I will go to the 7-zip download page and here I will download the MSI installer. And let's go back to the configuration designer. I will paste in the command for installing 7-zip because I don't want to make any mistakes by typing it. And now we need to provide the installation files. For that, let's click Browse. Let's go to our Downloads folder and select the 7-zip installation file. Uh, make sure that the installation file name matches the one in the command because it contains a version number that can change in time. So just double check that this and this is the same. Now let's continue by doing the same with Adobe Reader. Back to the commands, I will name it install Adobe Reader. Click add, select the command. And now let's go back to the GitHub page. Once more, I will copy the installation command and go back to the configuration designer, paste in the command. And also we need to download it. And here for the operating system, I will select Windows 11. For the language, I will select English. And for the version, I will select the only one that's available and click download Acrobat Reader. Let's go back to the configuration designer and provide the file. So back to the download folder and select the file. Uh, same as with 7-zip, the name contains uh, a date, I think, in, or the version number. So just in case, I will copy the name here and replace <coughs> with the name in the installation command. So remember to double check if the name here is the same as the name here because they will change in time. Okay, so the next uh, step is to add the registry setting back to the github page and as you can see here we will disable the privacy experience uh, menu that you get when you log in for the first time with a new uh, lo with a new user account to the computer and it's a bit of it and it's a bit annoying so i always uh, disable it by adding this registry setting i will copy the command and here we need to name it. I will name it registry disable underscore privacy underscore menu. Click add, go inside of the command. And here we only need to provide uh, the command, but we don't need to provide any file. And that's basically it for this uh, provisioning package. Now I will create the provisioning package and demonstrate the installation process. So now we need to click on export provisioning package. Here for the owner, I will select AT admin, click next, next, next and build. Select the output location. I mean, click on the output location. And here, the only file that we need is this ppkg one. Uh, we need to copy it to our Windows installation USB drive. And that's basically it. Now, to demonstrate uh, how everything works, I will use VMware Workstation where I have prepared an empty virtual machine. So if you are doing the same, if you're using Vember Workstation or even any other virtualization software, 
you should try booting from the USB drive uh, or you can test it on a normal computer in my case uh, for Bember workstation I will click on the virtual machine go to removable devices and I will connect the USB drive that contains the Windows installation next step for me is to boot from the USB drive for that I need to first reset the system and go back to the BIOS screen and I will boot from the USB drive and we will see uh, what happens when we have the provisioning package and the alternate and XML file as you can see Windows installation uh, started loading As you can see here, it started installing Windows because of the alternate end file, with, which automates the first stages of Windows installation. And just after installing Windows, it automatically started applying our provisioning package. So let's wait a bit more and see the results. And as you can see here, it installed uh, Windows without any user input. Also, as we can see here, admin user was created. I'll try to log in. there was no privacy experience menu it immediately started preparing our user profile and we are in our desktop right now as you can see acrobat reader has been installed let's check if 7-zip also successfully installed yeah, as you can see here, we have it here. So that's it for this video. If you want to see more complex configurations, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one.